So a very, very common mistake people make is, especially at the start of their career, is that they, when they're setting up for the to back up into the, the space here, right, they actually turn a bit too soon. All right. Now, my recommendation is basically when your uh, your, your your body or your mirrors or your seat or whatever you want to call it uh, gets to basically, obviously, this is depending on how much room you have. But generally, I like to uh, always turn maybe one and a half spaces. Now you can get it depending if if it's nice and if you got a lot more space then yeah maybe at one space but uh but sometimes people have a tendency of turning too soon anywho so let's go ahead and turn too soon so let's turn around here all right so I'm gonna crank it hard to the right you know and then go off to the left all right and I can and I'm still trying to fix it so I go you know I keep going straight. And I think I'm happy. I think I've done everything right. So, okay, now I know I need to jackknife. So I start jackknifing away. Of course, then I start chasing it. And then what happens is you're stuck in the fence. All right. So then you straighten up because you're going to hit the fence and you're still jackknifing. And now it's time to start chasing it. Of course, you need all this room to start chasing it. If you don't have this room, Basically, by the time you are at this angle, uh, you know, parallel to the fence, uh, your truck, that is, you, you have to have around this much room to back in, okay? So uh, it's much better to turn too late than too soon. Obviously, there is a sweet spot, and uh, let's look at the sweet spot for a second. So I believe the sweet spot would be one and a half spaces, given the space that we have. So here, so hard right. Hard left. Okay, and roughly, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get my steers pointing straight. I'm gonna start chasing just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna, and then, so, yeah, I think that was a perfect back. I turn it to perfect moment. Let's go ahead and balance it out a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get nice and straight. I'm actually pretty proud of that one. Now again, remembering, reminding you guys that the physics in this is pretty much identical to the real world. So if you want to see that again, well, just rewind it. I'm not going to do it again in this video. Now, this is a very common position that new drivers seems to put themselves into as well. See, they can kind of tell that their, uh, their trailer is uh, pointing towards the space. But of course, their axles are all the way forward, which means that they need to swing. All right, that is this is not ideal. So if he if he tries to uh, start maybe start chasing it right now. All right, and then uh, let's say he gets a straight back in. So and of course he's waiting now. He's waiting for his uh, his uh, his axles to get to a certain point, and then start chasing it. And again, guess what happens now. That, this back is absolutely fine if there's no trailer here, but a lot of the time there is a trailer there and there's no jackknifing that can, that, that can fix it. So if you do find yourself in this position, oops, it is going too fast. All right. If you do find yourself in this position, this is how you get out of it. All right. Let's go ahead and crank it all the way to the left. All right. We're going to go all the way to the left. Keep going to the left. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, or keep going and hard right all right so now we will do a straight back so we're basically turning this into a 90 degree back now see where my trailer's pointing towards it's pointing way down towards dock number nine i suppose okay all right so roughly around here here, let's go ahead and try. Okay, I'm gonna do a hard jackknife. Now, well, I'm not done yet. All right, I probably should have turned a little bit earlier. All right, slowly does it. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, this was a terrible, terrible uh, way of me fixing this, but. Well, we all make these mistakes, okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to chase it perfectly, so let's go ahead and pull forward, all right? 
Okay, and then back again. Make sure the front doesn't hit. I think I might be able to get away with this. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, okay, let's take a look. Remember now, crank it all the way to the right. Straightens you up in the shortest distance. So we all get into trouble. That's knowing how to get out of it. Okay, wonderful. Okay, now we're just going to do a bit of a straight back, running parallel towards that trailer. Now we're not going to be done or anything. We're just going to uh, give ourselves a lot of room to do a pull forward. As long as you don't hit something, you don't get, you don't get in trouble. Doesn't matter how close you get to it. It's not till you make contact is when you get into trouble. Okay, so now I am very close to this trailer next to me. Okay, so I am going to turn to the right, eh, roughly around here. Maybe more. I just want to make sure my I make sure I have no swing. And then this is the important part: hard left, then hard right, and straight. See. Now I have full control of what I need to do. Let's get another straight back going. Still not over. I'm waiting for my axle to go past that line. And then I'm going to whip my, the front of my truck to the right, back to the left, and straight again. Anyway, so that's how you get out of that. There we go. OK, so let's see if I can do a better job at it this time. Again, we're pointing way past the space. All right, then maybe maybe we can start our turn just a little bit early. We've not too, we're not going to jackknife too much. Okay, so maybe around here. Okay, this is looking a lot better. Much 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 better. There we go. Get out and look around here. Hard left, getting nice and close to the trailer on the left. All right, we can keep going. I think. Okay. Turn this thing all the way to the right. All right, looking good, looking good. Going to get a straight back for just a second. And then basically whip the front over to the right and start chasing it. All right, so there you go. Those are some mistakes that new drivers make.